but you're seeing it right now. This team could play half court basketball, as we said in the open. Got the last two halves of basketball for George Niang. He has 35 points and 15 of 22 from the floor. Morris drives, scoops out, he's going in the foul. Okay, again. Made her a three. Got it. And Morris, he didn't mess around with the offense. Well, both these teams can really score. Very efficient offensively. Niang. Go right back to him in the post. He's got Christian James on. Morris will try a three. Got it. And that's Absolutely. When you watch Oklahoma, Iowa State, and Kansas play, the one thing that comes to mind is all three of them can really put points on. Man, we watched him in practice. Saw Wisconsin early in the year yeah. at Oklahoma, and they looked terrible. They were. Yeah. And there's no reflection on Bo Ryan, who's going to the Hall of Fame, but Greg Gard, the new head coach, the interim head coach. Has done a marvelous job of going back to the style they used to play. New ball, new ball movement. Look at this ball now. Monte Morris that puts it in. And I by Jameel McKay. He was last year's Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. One of the reasons you go to his zone is to stop a team that's got great movement. And there's the West Virginia lead. Yeah, he got that ball so deep, even if McKay had jumped, he was going to push right through him. Now Thomas spots three. Yes. Regains. 15 of 18. Now think about that. Two for 21. He hangs a hard screen there on Taylor. Morris. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Goes 250 as well. Morris weaving inside. And that'll go. I really and gets him 10. Now, this is the best DJ Johnson has played. Nice move. Oh, nobody was there to shut yep. the door. Gets some more pick and roll actions. He's one of the best in the country in usage of pick and roll. Three off the mark. Niang the rebound. Steve Bone says that when Morris scores, it makes us a different team. Great look. McKay up ahead of the pack. Monte Morris is in. And he's the key to the whole ball of wax for Iowa State. And I believe he's the key to a run in the NCAA tournament because of his defensive prowess. So the outside shooting not working at the moment for the Cyclones, and they're down to five on the clock as Morris drives. Now Thomas can fix that in a hurry, and he does. Well, they don't put their opponents on the line. Taylor couldn't hit Morris the four. Split it. And got it to go, Monte Morris. Iowa State foul. And Niang's back in the game, and Nader's back in the game. You can't leave him over there any longer. Morris with the drive. Good block by Niang. And the rejection from an unexpected source. And a good climb by Morris. Those two. It used to be that way in the old Big East, too. In the one year at Providence, we won the Big East title. Had to play four days later. The game was on a Sunday, the championship. Morris. Well, that's an area where he is. Morris gets inside, finds Burton, and puts it in. Yep, and quietly, a great screen by Jamari Trailer. Morris off the glass and good. Well, on the way to Montana, when you come and see me, I will stop. Yep. Morris drives down at the other end. I don't think, Brent, Iowa State is running the floor like they can. 
Scott. Scott Monte Morris did. He sure is. Two or one. I'd go at about seven. Watch a lob here. Just watch a lob here, John. The cake. Morris hoist and hits. Shot clock at nine. Brogdon three. Nian rebound. He's collected six. Pace is different than the first half here. Iowa State speeding it up. Morris for the floor. Was yesterday, but Marcus Johnson for the season much better. They have to contend with him also and not put too much emphasis on Higgins. Marcus Johnson shoots 46% from deep. Again, Woods guarding Niang. Now Soshi comes over for the double. Niang gets rid of it. Eight on the shot clock. Monte Morris with four to shoot. Thomas in the corner for three. It's good and score from there. He's a throwback player. <laughs> this was 2011 he said all that. That's why Freddie Hoiberg had success here. He's smart enough to see how good George Diang could be and he's been everything and more. Ooh. Chiseling his way. Shot clock at two. Parenches for three. Gill got a hand on it. Oh, he hit the deck hard. Niang is so lucky he has not picked up his third foul right in front of the officials. Niang, three, good. First round against Hampton. He comes off the bench and puts in two right there. What a first half for Virginia at both ends of the floor. And that's a drive. 